Welcome to Enphase. This video demonstrates how to install an Enphase microinverter system from beginning to end. We'll cover laying out the array on the roof and securing the cables, attaching the microinverters and fitting the end cap, connecting the cables to the AC supply and connecting the modules to the microinverters, installing and setting up the communications gateway, and checking the kilowatt hour production to verify the system is working correctly. There's a lot to cover and we know you're busy, so we're not going to hang about. The first thing you should do after arriving on site is to plug in the Envoy gateway to a power socket and the home's broadband. Once you have selected your local language, the Envoy will look for any software updates and install them automatically, if required. The upgrade process can take up to 30 minutes, so it makes sense to start this before carrying on with the rest of the installation. OK, let's get cracking. Once you've installed the mounting brackets and secured the module mounting rails to the roof, mark the approximate centre of each PV module on the mounting rail. This is where the microinverters will go. Avoid mounting an inverter between two modules or directly under the module junction box. There are two different styles of N-gauge cable. The portrait cable can be used for most jobs. The landscape cable is used when the microinverters are further apart on the rails, as is typical for a landscape array layout. Align the drop connectors directly to the right of where you marked the microinverter locations, and secure them to the mounting rail with cable ties. Secure the cables between connectors with more cable ties. There are two release holes in the connectors. These holes are used for disconnecting the microinverter from the N-gauge cable and need to be clear and accessible. Remove and discard the shipping caps from the cables and install ceiling caps on all unused AC drop connectors. Do not use the shipping caps because they will not provide an adequate seal. Fix the microinverters to the rails with a standard M8 bolt using one bolt and washer per inverter. The inverters can be fitted in various positions on the rails. The main thing to remember is to get them the right way up, with the Enphase branded silver side facing the back of the module. Next, plug the microinverters into the AC drop connectors on the N-gauge cable. Listen for two clicks as they engage. Both latches must engage to get an IP67 rating. When you've got the microinverters fitted, find the installation booklet provided with the inverters and turn to the array map in the middle. Each microinverter has a removable barcode sticker in the top left corner. Place the stickers in the corresponding locations on the array map. You'll need this to build the virtual array later in order to monitor the system. Select the unused end of the N-gauge cable. Strip off at least 60 millimeters of the outer cable sheath. Slide the hex nut onto the cable. Insert the cable into the wire organizer up to the stop. Bend the individual wires into the slots in the wire organizer. Using wire cutters, trim wires to the correct length so that they fit cleanly into the slots. Press the cap onto the wire organizer, bending the wires into the slots. If the wires resist being pressed into the cap, you may need to trim them a little. Screw the hex nut onto the cap. Insert a screwdriver into the slot on the cap, or use the end phase disconnect tool to hold it in place. Using cable ties, secure the N-gauge cable and termination end cap to the rail, ensuring they will not touch the roof. Connect the N-gauge cable to the AC supply branch circuit using an appropriate junction box or AC isolator. You can connect the N-gauge cable into additional AC junction boxes with suitable cables such as twin and earth, flex or steel wire armor cable as required to transition between smaller subarrays. Remember to stick to AC branch circuit limits for the number of microinverters being used. The AC supply cable should be sized to ensure voltage does not drop more than 1% between the consumer unit and the N-gauge cable. Never conduct an insulation resistance test through the N-gauge cable while the microinverters are connected or you'll short circuit the system. Secure the PV modules to the rails directly above the inverters. Connect the DC leads of each module to the DC input connectors of the corresponding inverter. You don't need to daisy chain the modules together as traditionally done with conventional string inverters. The Envoy is an essential part of the Enphase microinverter system. It operates between the microinverters and the Enlighten web based monitoring. 
The Envoy functions as a gateway, collecting energy and performance data from the microinverters through the home's existing AC household wiring. It then forwards the data to Enlighten via the internet to produce reports on the system. Installation and operation of the Envoy require no specialist equipment or computer or networking experience. The Envoy simply connects to the home's router, which sees it as another device on the local network, much like a personal computer or smart TV. Enphase recommend fitting an additional power socket on either a spare MCB in the PV subboard or, if the PV system is supplied directly from the existing AC mains consumer unit, fit the additional plug socket onto a spare breaker. The Envoy should be installed as close to the consumer unit as possible to ensure it receives the strongest signal from the inverters. The Envoy must be indoors and can be placed on a shelf or wall mounted. Because it is recommended that the Envoy is fitted next to the home's consumer unit, you may need to fit an Ethernet bridge or Wi-Fi dongle in order to have the Envoy connected to the internet. These can be ordered optionally from our distributors. Once the Envoy is plugged in, you will see the signal strength on the Envoy's LCD display screen. Confirm that the correct number of inverters are communicating with the Envoy by checking the number in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. If the Envoy has not registered all the inverters and the signal strength is low, you may need to relocate the Envoy to get a better signal. If the signal strength is good but not all inverters are registered, you may need to check the AC and DC connections on the roof to be sure they are fully engaged. Once the Envoy software is up to date, you will need to use a laptop to complete the setup. Connect the Envoy to your laptop with the orange Ethernet cable provided and launch a web browser on your computer. Enter the IP address shown in the LCD screen of the Envoy to the address bar in your browser. Make sure you enter this IP address into the URL bar and not a Google or Yahoo search bar. You will not need HTTP or www or .com before or after the IP address. Type the address exactly as it is displayed on the Envoy display screen. Once the browser has successfully connected with the Envoy, the system overview screen will display in the browser window. As part of the commissioning process, installers must use the Envoy to configure the microinverters with an appropriate grid profile setting. The system will not begin exporting power until the Envoy is installed and has detected all of the microinverters at the site. Plus, the grid profile must be configured, and the Envoy must have propagated these settings to the microinverters. To set the country profile, click Administration at the top right of the system overview screen on your laptop. The default username and password are both admin. From the admin menu, select Device Grid Configuration. On the Device Grid Configuration screen, select your Country Regulatory Specification from the drop-down menu. Once the correct profile has been chosen, the information below will update according to the selected profile. Click Apply Grid Profile and the Apply Profile screen will appear and update every minute to confirm that each individual microinverter has been set with the updated grid profile. When a microinverter status switches from Propagating to Set, the Envoy will automatically reboot. Once the device is rebooted, power production will begin. Note, it is important to confirm that all microinverters on the Apply Profile screen have had the correct country profile selected and have the status set. One microinverter in the set status will trigger the generation meter to begin displaying system-wide production, but this does not mean it is reflecting that the correct number of inverters are operational. Using the Envoy display screen, verify that the correct number of inverters are displayed in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. You can also use the Envoy to verify what production and kilowatt hour production displayed at the bottom of the display screen. The red LED on the generation meter will now begin flashing and the generation meter should begin clocking up kilowatt hours. The final stage of the process is to log into the Enphase Enlightened System Monitoring Portal to complete the system registration, which is explained in another video. Enlightened shows per module production and it is best practice to verify the per module production before leaving site, but this can be done back at the office. This video has covered the basics of installing an Enphase microinverter system. Learn more about Enphase training at enphase.com.